All right, welcome back. Week four, it's been about uh, five days. Saturday, I think I saw the uh, the bees swarming. Not entirely sure, they just plowed the field, so could have been a, a mix of the two. So we're gonna get in today and find out uh, what really happened. So today, I'm gonna be looking for eggs. If I see eggs, that means we've still got a queen that's been laying within the last three days. So Saturday, uh, today's Wednesday, it's been four days since I thought I saw them swarm. When they swarm, the queen basically leaves, takes uh, some workers with her, and starts a new colony. So I'm gonna get in today and find out whether this colony is queenless or not. If it is not queenless, so if there is a queen still in there, I plan on finding her, and you can see I've got a, uh, a second uh, box here I'm gonna start. Uh, so I'm gonna move the queen into one of these and I'm gonna do an artificial split. Uh, so I'll make the bees think that they swarmed on their own uh, and, and hopefully prevent them from doing it. So uh, ideally I'll turn this into two different hives today, uh, but we'll see what actually happens. So I'm gonna break in and, and kind of take it from there. So just to give some of the other hives some extra resources, I'm just gonna shake some of these bees out here into the other hive, so see what that looks like. All right, just a quick update. Uh, I could not find the queen, however, we did have eggs, so whatever I saw Saturday was not a swarm. It's probably because, again, they were plowing the field. Don't know what was going on there. Uh, I went ahead and just split the boxes, so we'll call it a, what's it called, a walk away split. Uh, I'm not sure which box the queen is in. I guess we'll find out here in a, a week or so. Uh, what I ended up doing was I took uh, some resources, so I call it uh, nectar, pollen, Put it in both hives i took eggs put them into both hives and i took some what we call brood which is uh, just bee larva that's capped already uh, ready to be hashed in about 7 14 days or so uh, and i put that in both hives so both hives are ready to go one has a queen i'm not sure which uh, we'll update you uh, you can see i believe uh, this guy here was the uh, the first hive so i added the second hive on the other side of the board over there uh, so we'll see what happens right now. I'm getting ready to throw some tops on uh, and just, uh, again, keep feeding these guys. They've already ran through about four gallons of, uh, of sugar water. So wish me luck.
So just to give you a quick update, what I ended up doing was I took the top um, 10 frames, so the top super, I guess deep you'd call it, um, and I put that on another hive stand. So I took some, uh, some extra resources, some extra, some frames of what we call brood, uh, some extra uh, a frame of eggs uh, and nectar and pollen and such on there. So I, I put some of that into the second hive and I split the hives right down the middle. Um, so I'm not sure which one the queen's in. They both have eggs in there, so that's exactly what we want to see. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we'll see if I either made a mistake or um, in about three weeks, hopefully we'll have two laying queens. Uh, so I know I got one for sure. Uh, so we'll see in about a week's time which one actually has the, uh, the queen based on where the eggs are at. So I looked for about an hour today, could not find the queen. So uh, I just decided to, to go ahead and say what we do as a, a walk away split. So I just split the hives in two. Uh, and like I said, we'll see what happens. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks.